Good morning, fourth grade. I'm here to walk you through your very next lesson called Waves in Information. We're going to be learning about waves and in information for the next couple weeks in science. This is the very first slide you have on your Google Decks slide presentation. I will be including all notes that you need over here on the bottom left. We will be having live meetings every Tuesday and Thursday to go over your new lessons, or you can watch the video at your own pace. As we continue to add lessons, I will be including them here on the post-it note so you can see when your due date is and when our lessons will be. As we keep adding dates here, you'll be able to click to those to go to the next set of work. The first lesson we're gonna be doing is waves. The things that you will be learning are the following. You'll be able to describe the properties of a wave, You'll discover that waves can cause objects to move, and you can show or demonstrate that patterns are used to transfer information. The first thing that we need to do is talk about the properties of waves. What are waves? How do they travel? Can you give us some examples? Because I would like this to be interactive, I need you to give me some information. On this Polaroid here, I need you to do one or more of the following. You can add a text box and answer these questions in words. You can add a photo showing that you know what waves are, how they travel, or give examples. Or you can make a video. But the important part to remember is all of your information goes right here directly in your slideshow. The next thing you're going to do has seven steps and they're very easily marked so you can follow along. The first thing you're gonna do is find these note takers. Now note takers is really just a fancy word for slides six and seven. Slides six and seven are designed for you to edit and add notes to as you learn different things about waves. Next, I would like you to make a wave of your choice with materials around your house. You're going to take a photo or a video of you making a wave and put it here on this Polaroid. What did you notice about waves while you were making it? You'll put your information right here on the note taker. What materials you used and what did you notice? Next, you're gonna watch a Brain Pop video. If you click this link, it will take you directly to Brain Pop. You'll have to log in and watch the video. I would like you to do the review, but you don't need to turn anything in. After you've watched the Brain Pop video, you're gonna to go to Newzella and read one, two, three articles. Now, Newzella is something that you might not have logged into since we've been at home. All you need is your school email and password. You'll click the first link and it will open the first article that I want you to read. As you read through the article and you learn about waves, how they work, and different parts of a wave, I'd like you to go back to your slides and on your note taker, add notes of things that you've learned. The great thing about using an iPad is that you can toggle between both Newzella and your note taker, or even do a split screen so you can see both items or both pages at once. After you have read all three articles from Newzella, one, two, three, you can move on to show me what you know. What you're going to do here is you are going to move these boxes to the correct area of the wave. So you are labeling this image. I'd like you to drag the words to where they belong 
and then you can use arrows to make your thinking clear. I'm moving into the editing page so you can see what this looks like. I will hover over the box until I get my cursor to show the arrow, the four arrows, and then I will pick it up and I will move it to wherever I think amplitude is. And then I will move the next one. Now, underneath here, it says use arrows to make your thinking clear. Up here in the editing box, you can actually add arrows or lines. I'm gonna have you choose the arrow from the line section and you will just drag and create an arrow. You can move this just like any other image that we have used in Keynote or Google before. Take your time and show me what you know. Let me move this back so that you have it correct when you need it. Once you are finished with showing me what you know and you've drawn arrows to make sure that your thinking is clear, you're gonna go to the very last page. And you know you're at the last page because it says stop here. Before you submit your work to Google Classroom, let's double check that you have everything that you need. On slide four, you should have a text box or other information to answer the questions about a wave. If you don't, go back and do that. Slide five should have a place where you have inserted a photo or a video of the wave that you made. Slide six and seven should have the notes based on what you learned on the Brain Pop, art, the Brain Pop video and the three Newzella articles. Slide seven has a number of vocabulary terms that you should be filling in. There's also space for you to fill in vocabulary words that maybe we didn't include, but you think are important to understanding what a wave is. And slide eight is where you showed what you knew, the parts of a wave that you labeled. When you have finished doing each of these items, you are gonna upload this exact slide deck that you've been editing into Google Classroom. That is what your classroom teachers will be using as a grade. If you have any questions, the first thing you need to do is go back and rewatch this video. The second thing is read through all of the slides. Third, ask a friend. Fourth, make sure you are coming to all live Q&A and teaching sessions. This is a great place to get all of your questions answered on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Check Google Classroom for the dates and times of these live events. And finally, after you have done all of those, if you still have questions, then you can email Mrs. Wadka at mwadka at d181.org.